Boyd has the ball. He's hitting the backfield. He fumbled the Pick ball. It up. It's hard to use one word to describe LaMarcus Joyner. Leadership. Playmaker. Just first round type of ability. He's proving that ability this year after not only deciding to come back for a senior year, fumble, fumble football. but to switch positions in his last season, which has paid dividends thus far in 2013. LaMarcus is natural where he's at. He's a natural corner. He can be a safety, which is great, you see. But him as a nickel. See, a nickel's everything. It's a safety, it's a linebacker, it's a corner. You know, he's a naturally instinctive football player, and those were, certain guys can only play in those certain roles. LaMarcus is showing that he certainly can. Intercepted, picked off LaMarcus Joyner. It seems that playing safety last year may have limited his abilities on the field. By him switching the defensive back, it kind of opened up more opportunities for him. To blitz, as well as um, cover, one-on-one, -on -one, anything the coaches want him to do, he do it, and he do it to the best of his ability which brings the best out of players he practices against. Marcus is one of the best, one of the best defensive athletes on the, on the team. And, you know, I say athlete because, you know, regardless of whether you put him, he's going to make plays, he's going to do his job, I mean, and he's a competitor. So, you know, that guy just, he gets us all, you know, prepared for, you know, for Saturday and it becomes easy. It's intercepted at the 10, down the sideline, with the football, it's joined. It's like LaMarcus, whoever he goes up with, he pushes them to the max. It's either you going to respond or you're going to get embarrassed. The 10 to the 5, touchdown FSU! LaMarcus was a fan favorite playing safety. He started 27 consecutive games at that position and recorded multiple tackles in 12 of 14 games last year. You never hear him talk about or brag about what he did in the past. It's always week by week, he want to get better. I think for someone to be a leader like that, I mean, his performance just speak for, for itself. I was just uh, able to embrace the leadership role. I mean, that's why I returned for my senior year. You ready for the ride, baby? Joyner's teammates say he's a natural leader. He possesses two different personalities. Off the field, he's a quiet guy. And on the field, he's anything but. Fortunately, I was given that, given that, that kind of ability. Uh, it all comes from the heart. Uh, I, I try my best on being a genuine person and, uh, you know, I signed up for this game of football because I had that side of me. So, you know, when when it's time to play football, it's just that switch in the heart turns on and I'm able to be able to be that competitive. He's short, he's not little. I mean, there's a different, I mean, and he's not hit, but he's a, he, he packs that big punch now. Well, and his heart's as big as the world. Which may be why he's arguably having his best year yet. Leading the team in sacks, forced fumbles, and has 33 tackles on the season so far. But his success is not the only reason why he'll always remember this season. This has been the best year that I had since I've been at Florida State as far as from an emotional standpoint. I mean, the love and the brotherhood that we're building around here is, is something special. And we're only halfway through the season. At Doe Campbell Stadium, Jonathan Schlacey, Seminoles.com.